After living for seven years in Asia, I learned one or two things about the less is more philosophy of living. In this video, I'll share my thought process on furniture placement and elements at home for a minimalist and balanced place. A few years ago, I went to Japan. I arrived in Kyoto. It was kind of late, so I stayed in a capsule hotel at the airport. It was then and there I understood the meaning of less is more and simplicity. I just had the essentials for a one night stay in this tiny place, nothing complicated. During the trip, I noticed things in Japan look so organized and beautiful. It got my attention, so I started digging more into the Eastern way of living and found out about Feng Shui. I realized I had been living wrong my entire life, and I kind of became obsessed. According to Feng Shui, less is more because the more things you add to your home, the more complicated it's going to be to place them in a balanced way. Let's see that in action. This is my apartment with the furniture. As you can see, there is a big gap between these two pieces of furniture. The reason for that is flow. Energy has a free way to circulate around my home. Now, if I were to place something else here, say move the dining table to the center, then the energy would be disrupted. It makes sense, right? It's not rocket science. Here are the basic principles to create balance at home. This could be your most important piece of furniture. If you think about it, you spend a significant portion of your life in bed. That's why it's important to place it right. Ideally, you should have a clear line of sight to the door. That's called commanding position. Someone is coming to the room, you know. You can't see that person, so your brain stays relaxed while awake or asleep. This is the reason why our ancestors slept facing the entrance of the cave. Think about it. Say you live with a psychopath. Suddenly, this guy decides to kill you. If you're facing a wall opposite to the entrance, you'll die. But if you have a clear sight of the entrance, you'll see the guy coming and at least you'll be able to defend yourself. Gotta be ready, you never know. These extreme situations are not likely to happen, I hope. However, our brains are programmed that way, survival instinct. It might be the reason why you're not able to concentrate while you work. Perhaps you don't have a clear line of sight to the door. Right, so why not just lock the door? Big no. What if the psycho you live with has a spare key to that door and you're wearing a headset? You'll die. There will be situations where placing the bed or desk facing the door is not possible, but there is a way around it. You can put a mirror to be able to see the door and that's it. I could have said that before all the psycho jokes. I'm sorry, I know my humor can get dark sometimes. When I first moved to this place, I did a lot of experimentation in regards to how I felt with the positioning of furniture and things. First, I decided I wanted the sofa and living space here and the other side for my workstation facing the wall. But a week later, I had to move my workstation to the other side because I kept looking back all the time. It feels Feng Shui friendly now. I don't have many things, but when I first moved to this place, it came with a safety net and these curtains. I decided to get rid of both because it felt cluttered. Plus the curtains were old and dirty. So I bought these gray roller shades. I think they look better and cleaner. What do you think? Some say you shouldn't have plants at home, but I disagree. Living plants not only bring life energy into your home, they also purify the air you breathe. In regards to where to have them, they should be in a bright place, most of them usually by the window so they get plenty of light. I've been reading in my comments that my place needs more color. It's too flat, boring. So it makes me think, should I print some of my photos? It will look like this. What do you think? Naked walls or a bit of art would be nice. All right, so you don't have art. Why are you talking about art? I wanted your opinion, okay? All I know is art is a personal thing. You can bring colors, style, character into your home with art Having your color palette in mind, if you do, it's important. But again, it's subjective, it's art. If you decide to hang some prints or paintings, just make sure they're not too high or low. Believe it or not, I used to work for an art company, so I know my stuff. When hanging artwork, the universal rule is the 57 inches rule. The center of the print should be 57 inches from the ground, making sure nothing's too high or low. And that's it. Feng Shui matters. Remember that. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in seeing more of this place, watch these videos next and I'll catch you in the next one. Hey, subscribe if you haven't already. See ya.